Greetings, this is Jeff Riddle, pastor of Christ Reformed Baptist Church in Louisa, Virginia. And this is going to be a reading of two short annotated lists that are among the literary remains of an early Christian writer known as Hippolytus of Rome. Hippolytus lived from around the year 170 to the year 236. The two briefly annotated lists that we're going to read are of the Twelve Apostles, and then of the 70 disciples sent out by Christ. And you may remember that there's a reference to 70 disciples being sent out by Christ in Luke 10, verses 1 through 20, although their specific names aren't given. Hippolytus uh, supposedly provides the names of those 70 men who were sent out. Uh, before I read the two short annotated lists, let me provide a brief biography of Hippolytus of Rome. Again, I noted already that he lived from around the year 170 to the year 236. I'm making use uh, in this biographical sketch of the entry on Hippolytus that appears in the Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church. He is described there as an ecclesiastical writer and a so-called doctor or teacher of the church. He is also called by the Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church the most important third century theologian of the Roman church. Little is known about his early life, although there is a questionable anecdote from someone named Photius suggesting that Hippolytus had been a disciple of Irenaeus of Lyon. Uh, if this is true, we could then trace a line from Hippolytus to Irenaeus. Irenaeus had been a student of Polycarp, and Polycarp had been a student and companion of the Apostle John. The point being that Hippolytus was only, uh, you know, a couple lines away uh, from the time of the apostles themselves and may well have known some uh, early traditions that indeed had been uh, handed down from the apostles. An indication of his esteem includes the fact that when the celebrated Origen visited Rome around the year 212, he is said to have attended Hippolytus's sermons. Hippolytus is said later to have come into conflict with some of the bishops of Rome, but he was later reconciled and then died as a martyr, again around the year 236. In the year 1551, a statue of Hippolytus was discovered in Rome that included a list of his many writings, and historians believe that that statue was made uh, you know, not long, either within Hippolytus's lifetime or not long after it. And so it provides this um, artifact, I guess, that provided a list of his writings. Not all of his writings, many writings have survived. His principal work was thought to be uh, one called Refutation of All Heresies, and it exists now only in part. Other works of his include a commentary on Daniel and a commentary on the Song of Songs, as well as a manual on church order, that is titled The Apostolic Tradition, and the Apostolic Tradition is still in print and can still be read. Uh, the two documents we will be reading may be found in the translation by J.H. McMahon in the Anti-Nicene Fathers, Volume 5, edited by Alexander Roberts, James Donaldson, and A. Cleveland Cox, and that work was first uh, published in the year 1886. So let's go ahead now and do this reading. Uh, first of a, a Hippolytus's uh, annotated list on the 12 apostles. And this is what he writes, where each of them preached and where he met his end. First, Peter preached the gospel in Pontus and Galatia and Cappadocia and Bithynia and Italy and Asia and was afterwards crucified by Nero in Rome with his head downward as he had himself desired to suffer in that manner. Second, Andrew preached to the Scythians and Thracians and was crucified, suspended on an olive tree at Patre, a town of Achaia, and there too he was buried. Third, John, again in Asia, was banished by Domitian, the king to the Isle of Patmos, 
in which also he wrote his gospel and saw the apocalyptic vision. And in Trajan's time, he fell asleep at Ephesus, where his remains were sought for, but could not be found. Four, James, his brother, when preaching in Judea, was cut off with the sword by Herod the Tetrarch and was buried there. Five, Philip preached in Phrygia and was crucified in Hierapolis with his head downward in the time of Domitian and was buried there. Six, Bartholomew again preached to the Indians to whom he also gave the gospel according to Matthew and was crucified with his head downward and was buried in Alanum, a town of the great Armenia. Seven, and Matthew wrote the gospel in the Hebrew tongue and published it at Jerusalem and fell asleep at Hyres, a town of Parthia. Eight, and Thomas preached to the Par uh, Parthians, Medes, Persians, Hyrcanians, Bactrians, and Margians, and was thrust through in the four members of his body with a pine spear at Calamine, the city of India, and was buried there. Nine, and James, the son of Alphaeus, when preaching in Jerusalem, was stoned to death by the Jews and was buried there beside the temple. Ten, Jude, who is called Labius, preached to the people of Edessa and to all Mesopotamia and fell asleep at Beritus and was buried there. Eleven, Simon the Zealot, the son of Clopas, who is, called, who is also called Jude, became bishop of Jerusalem after James the Just and fell asleep and was buried there at the age of 120 years. Twelve, and Matthias, who was one of the seventy, was numbered along with the eleven apostles and preached in Jerusalem and fell asleep and was buried there. Thirteen, and Paul entered into the apostleship a year after the assumption of Christ. And beginning at Jerusalem, he advanced as far as Illyricum and Italy and Spain, preaching the gospel for five and thirty years. And in the time of Nero, he was beheaded at Rome and was buried there. That's the end of the first document on the Twelve Apostles. And we'll move on to the second annotated list, which is titled On the Seventy Disciples. First, James, the Lord's brother, Bishop of Jerusalem. Second, Cleopas, Bishop of Jerusalem. Third, Matthias, who supplied the vacant place in the number of the Twelve Apostles. Fourth, Thaddeus, who conveyed the epistle to Agoras. Fifth, Ananias, who baptized Paul and was Bishop of Damascus. Six, Stephen, the first martyr. Seven, Philip, who baptized the eunuch. Eight, Prochorus, Bishop of Nicomedia, who, was, who also was the first that departed, believing together with his daughters. Nine, Nicanor died when Stephen was martyred. Ten, Timon, Bishop of Bostra. Eleven, Parmenas, Bishop of Soli. 12. Nicholas, Bishop of Samaria. 13. Barnabas, Bishop of Milan. 14. Mark the Evangelist, Bishop of Alexandria. 15. Luke the Evangelist. And now there's a note for Mark and Luke. It says, These two belong to the 70 disciples who were scattered by the offense of the word which Christ spoke. Except a man eat my flesh and drink my blood, he is not worthy of me. But the one being induced to return to the Lord by Peter's instrumentality and the other by Paul's, they were honored to preach that gospel on account of which they also suffered martyrdom, the one being burned and the other being crucified on an olive tree. 16. Silas, Bishop of Corinth. 17. Silvanus, Bishop of Thessalonica. 18. Criscus or Crescens, Bishop of Carchidon in Gaul. 19. Epinetus, Bishop of Carthage. 20. Andronicus, Bishop of Pannonia. 
21, Amplius, bishop of Odysseus. 22, Urban, bishop of Macedonia. 23, Stachys, bishop of Byzantium. 24, Barnabas, bishop of Heraclea. 25, Phagalus, bishop of Ephesus. He was of the party also of Simon. 26, Hermogenes, he too was of the same mind with the former. 27, Demas, who also became a priest of idols. 28, Apelles, bishop of Smyrna. 29, Aristobulus, bishop of Britain. 30, Narcissus, bishop of Athens. 31, Herodian, bishop of Tarsus. 32, Agabus the prophet. 33, Rufus, Bishop of Thebes. 34, Asyncritus, Bishop of Hyrcania. 35, Phlegon, Bishop of Marathon. 36, Hermes, Bishop of Dalmatia. 37, Patrobulus, Bishop of Putueli. 38, Hermas, Bishop of Philippi. 39, Linus, Bishop of Rome. 40, Caius, Bishop of Ephesus. 41, Philologus, Bishop of Sinope. 42 and 43, Olympus and Rhodion were martyred in Rome. 44, Lucius, Bishop of Laodicea in Syria. 45, Jason, Bishop of Tarsus. 46, Sosipater, Bishop of Iconium. 47, Tertius, Bishop of Iconium. 48, Erastus, Bishop of Penelus. 49, Quartus, Bishop of Beritus. 50, Apollo, Bishop of Caesarea. 51, Cephas. 52, Sosthenes, Bishop of Caliphonia. 53, Tychicus, Bishop of Caliphonia. 54, Epaphroditus, Bishop of Andriaki. 55, Caesar, Bishop of Derechium. 56, Mark, cousin to Barnabas, Bishop of Apollonia. 57, Justus, Bishop of Eleutheropolis. 58, Artemis, Bishop of Lystra. 59, Clement, Bishop of Sardinia. 60, Onesiphorus, Bishop of Caroni. 61, Tychicus, Bishop of Chalcedon. 62, Carpus, Bishop of Beritus in Thrace. 63, Evodus, Bishop of Antioch. 64, Aristarchus, Bishop of Apamea. 65, Mark, who is also John, Bishop of Biblupolis. 66, Zenus, Bishop of Diospolis. 67, Philemon, Bishop of Gaza. 68 and 69, Aristarchus and Pudes. 70, Trophimus, who was martyred along with Paul. And here ends the reading both of Hippolytus of Rome's of the Twelve Apostles and of the Seventy Disciples. Hope that this has been uh, encouraging and edifying for those who are listening, and we'll look forward to speaking to you in another one of these historical recordings in the future. Till then, take care and God bless.